There is no traitor. This is all a lie. Do not worry. As soon as I read those words, I knew I was absolutely fucked. Let me explain what happened. Back when I wasn't a captive of the post-production overlords, I used to go to a local game store and I played in several long-running campaigns there. Our system of choice was GURPS, Generic Universal Role-Playing System, which is one of my favorite systems and it allowed us to play in everything from high fantasy to modern space sci-fi without having to spend a lot of pre-game time working out the rules. Though, like any other group of friends that had been playing together for years, we had our own homebrew system as well. Honestly, I forgot that our rules weren't part of the core rules sometimes even. It made it so we could run one-shot games in an instant without character sheets if enough people were bored at the shop and had nothing to do. Well, we were playing a superhero game that was a callback to another game that we were playing back when the MCU was just hitting phase two. The owner of the store was the GM, and any time he ran a game, it was a roller coaster because he was always testing some new mechanic or story hook for bigger games in the future. We each rolled randomly for our powers, and I got intangibility, which is the same powers that Kitty Pride has. These were not at all powers I was prepared to play with. Super strength, flying, regeneration, teleportation, rock skin, even telepathy I was prepared for. But I didn't have anything cool lined up for intangibility. I think my hero name was Spectre, or something dumb like that. None of my superhero names could be Quarry, which is what I named my rock skin character. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Quarry. You'll never be able to shine like a diamond now. Anyway, it took me like five sessions to figure myself out, but I thought I finally had. One of the guys on our team got immortality, so my plan was to go and hide weapons inside of him by phasing the weapon through his stomach or his thighs when he wasn't paying attention. I was trying some splinter cell shit by calling myself Spectre and dual wielding silenced pistols just going through walls, guns blazing. But man, those first few games I played it weird. He ended up coming off as a pacifist and was reluctant to hurt any of the guys we fought at first. But I thought I had finally gotten it figured out and I was ready to rock come the 7th or 8th session. That was... until... So our team has basically been working for this AI reborn god named Ares, who had been pulling a punish the corrupt number to get us to trust him. It was enough to settle for most of our party, but our cyborg heavy hitter wasn't having any of it for dessert. I was pretty much on his side, but I was quiet about it. The party voted to work for Ares though, and he sent us after a lot of the people on everyone's personal hit list anyway. Then, one night after a job, Ares informed us that somebody in our group was a traitor. All throughout the game there had been hints. Ambushes on some jobs, a mysterious Illuminati-like organization pulling strings of all the gang families. We were basically told that each of us would be given clues to who it was telepathically or something. I don't really remember. I just remember the GM pulling out a piece of paper, tearing off strips for each of us and writing our clues down for each of us to read privately. He rolled randomly for each of us and chuckled to himself about every other roll menacingly. Then he handed me my note, and I read, There is no traitor. This is all a lie. Do not worry. Shit. I looked over at the GM, and I could see him laughing at me with his eyes. I had no way out of this. If I said that I was told there is no traitor and it's all a lie, who would believe me? If I don't say what I was told, well that just looks suspicious. If I make something up and accuse someone, that's just going to backfire as soon as they prove themselves innocent. The only thing I can think of was to lay low and just continue to reassure everyone that there's nothing to worry about. Everyone else was told a different member of the party was a traitor, and any time an argument started to get heated, I would just say, Guys, there's nothing to worry about right now. Let's just finish the mission. Eventually we found some records of names we believed to be members of the Shadow organization we were hunting. Sure enough, the person the cyborg suspected was on the list. Accusation started hard. Until somebody found the cyborg's name on the list. Finally, everyone decided to admit whose name they were given. They turned to me and asked me who I was told did it. I responded with, Guys, 
We don't need to worry about this. Everything's fine. Oh, I moved up on everyone's list then. I wasn't super worried because I couldn't really be affected by anything as long as I could phase through it. Is Spectre's name on this list? One of the players asked the GM. No, it's not, he replied. It wasn't looking good. The not wanting to hurt the bad guys in the beginning, the weird way I was acting towards everyone, it was all working against me. I was able to convince one of my party members to take my advice and calm down. There's nothing to worry about, I said, as I casually reached my hand out to shake his hand at the table. Does he shake his hand in game? The cyborg asked. Yeah, sure, we both answered. I shoot Cordy's character in the head. Well, damn. I was shaking someone's hand and had to concentrate on being a solid object. I was given a roll to see if I noticed, but I failed. Sure enough, I heard it. That's a hit. Roll a dodge. Failed. Eight damage. Doubled because piercing. Then doubled again for being a headshot. 32 total. Health check. Failed. Knocked unconscious, then executed with another shot. I was in shock. I was expecting to be attacked, but not by the cyborg. I had my eyes on the immortal I was shaking hands with since he and I had been messing around the whole game. My body hit the floor, and Ares smiled. Good. Just what I needed. Spill of innocent blood. The GM had me read my piece of paper to everyone, and sure enough, most of the party got pissed. They ended up vaporizing Ares with some insane beam cannon they got some super genius to install into the cyborg. <sighs> but now, I keep this piece of paper in my dice box to remind me. Do not worry. 